This video is meant to be a supplement for the Houdini courses offered at Becker College and Lesley University. In this video, I'd like to take a few minutes to just discuss file management. Uh, Houdini does not store anything internally, so when we get to a point where we're importing files or creating simulation caches, all of that is stored externally. In contrast to something like Maya, where if you do a file import and you import an FBX, you can store that directly in the Maya file. Uh, Houdini doesn't do that, so we need to make sure that we have a clear and precise project folder structure for working in Houdini. So I'm going to come up to the file menu and I'm going to select new project. Now if we already have a project folder and we want to take our current Houdini session and set it to that project folder, we would use set project. But in this case, I'm creating a brand new Houdini project folder, so I'm gonna do new project. And this should be the habit that, that we get into when whenever you start Houdini and start a new project, come here to the file menu and do new project. So that will open up the new project window and the top parameter here is will be the name of the project folder and then this will be the path to where it's saved. And right here, it's telling us where it's going. It's going to, you know, my drive, uh, documents, Houdini projects. This is basically the default project folder. And that's not where we want to put it. So you could manually type in the path you want here, or we could use a, a roundabout method that I think is probably the easiest to get the, the this project placed in the proper location. In my case here, I want to just put it on the desktop for now. So I'm going to hit the browse button next to the project path. And in here, what the two things we want to be aware of is that Houdini, we can reference things in Houdini by either the dollar sign hip or dollar sign job. And these two locations are not necessarily synced with each other. So if I choose dollar sign hip, what this is doing is this is saying wherever the current hip file is that is open in Houdini, that's this location. Well, right now I haven't saved this Houdini file, so I don't have a hip location. And if I select dollar sign hip, that's giving me that, the, that reference up here. So if I just put my cursor over it, I can see a little dropout that tells me where it's going. And it's going to the C drive, users, and then my uh, name here. So that's not where I want to put it. Now, if I had saved a hip file prior to coming into here, then it would show me that location and I'll demonstrate that. So I'm going to cancel that for a second and cancel the new project window and I'm just going to save the hip file. So I'll do save as and this is off screen here, but I'm just going to put it on the desktop and I'll keep it as untitled. So now if I come back to the new project folder and I click on the browse for project path, and then if I click on dollar sign hip and put my cursor over the string up here, it shows me that it is indeed going to the desktop. Now the dollar job, which is the other variable that if we want to call it that, that we're looking at here is for where the project is set. So if I select that and put my cursor over it, we can see that that does not have a location. It's going to users and then, you know, my, my username here. Um, so if we want to sync these up, uh, they, they both need to go to the same spot. Now, uh, what I was showing at this point was just simply what the difference is between, uh, the reference to dollar hip versus dollar job. Um, again, let me just back backtrack one so that I don't confuse us with how to create a new project. So we can put that aside. That was just a demonstration on what dollar hip was versus dollar job. But when you're ready to create a new project, you go file, choose file, new project. It opens up the new project window. And then I'm going to click on the browse button next to project path. Oops, right there. And I am going to say, I want to put this on the desktop. So I'll choose the desktop. And then I can just choose the uh, path that's up here in look in. Now, actually, this one is going to be a little different because I did already save a hip file. So when I go to the desktop, it's saying, well, this is the hip location. That works. But if I start a new file completely from scratch and I hadn't saved a hip yet, uh, it won't show this path, it will show a slightly different path, but it will still do the same thing. 
So since I already saved a hip file, that's why it's giving me this. I could demonstrate what would happen though if I started cold without without any reference to a hip file that's already loaded in Houdini. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna cancel out of these and I'm just gonna do file new so that it's not referencing a currently saved hip file. And now if I go to new project and hit the browse button here and then I do desktop, see it's slightly different. Uh, but either way will work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that. I just need that location. So I'm gonna copy that location and then cancel this window. And then I'm gonna paste that location in right here, like that. And then I can give the project a name. I'll just call it my project. And then I'll hit accept. And now I've generated a new project folder on my desktop and there is my project file. So you see all of those subfolders have been added that, uh, that we saw in the create new project window. So now I can start saving stuff into those folders. And now if I also do file save as, and I save this hip file, I can now reference the dollar job location. And if I put my cursor over it, we see that it is indeed going to the desktop in the folder called my project. So then I can save this in there. I'll just keep it as untitled. And now my hip file is saved in there. So now if I come back to either open or save, something that opens up uh, our dialog window, uh, let me do save as, we can see that if I choose the dollar job as my, my um, reference, it's on the desktop in the My Project folder. And now also if I, if I choose to look via the hip path, that should be synced up in the same location as well, desktop my project, because I, I've saved a hip file in there. So that's the general way, I, I, what I found to be the easiest way to manage working with, with project files in Houdini and understanding the difference between dollar job and dollar hip.